Good morning, Zoe. Today I wanted to talk about Hurricane Harvey, the catastrophic category for a hurricane that recently hit southeast Texas and a little bit of Louisiana. The thrill and the media attention is sort of starting to die down and as that happens I just wanted to put some resources up here for people if they wanted to help more. FEMA says that this recovery effort is going to take years and the media isn't going to be there the entire time keeping people engaged in it. So if you want to give more, I'm going to list some resources that you can use to donate money or donate your time. Object donations usually are good right at the beginning and then eventually they kind of run out of space for keeping things. Whereas money, if you give that, it's not only incredibly efficient to get down there, but it also enables these organizations to purchase exactly what they need to further their recovery effort instead of sort of working with whatever shows up. So if you have canned goods or, you know, new clothes or something like that that you would like to give, I would say call some of these places, see if that's still the kind of donation they need. Depending what date you're watching this video on, it's potentially true, but definitely just check with someone so that, you know, they don't have overrun warehouses of things they don't need. So I'm going to focus on monetary donations and time donations because those kind of outlast uh, the test of time and over the many years that this recovery effort is going to take, we'll still keep helping them. So I've done some research and the places that I'm going to list are verified and vetted and recommended by people like the Obama Foundation and the Human Rights Campaign and some of them are general organizations that help when disaster relief is needed and some are a little bit more tailored to different things so if you have a certain cause that's close to your heart you can donate just to them and they will deal with the specific needs of those people. The first one of course is the American Red Cross. They've come under a little bit of scrutiny in the past based on you know where is your money going? Is it going to run the company or is it going to help these people? But Charity Navigator still gives them a 93% rating on their transparency and their accountability. You can certainly look them up on Charity Navigator and read through their finances for yourself if that's something you're concerned about. But as far as I can tell they've opened up shelters and they're taking in massive amounts of displacement people and so if you would like to donate to the American Red Cross you can go to redcross.org or if you'd prefer to donate by phone 1-800-RED-CROSS and then there's also an option where you can text the word Harvey to 90999 and that will automatically add ten dollars to your phone bill to donate but keep in mind that they may not get your donation until your phone bill is paid but again every little bit helps forever. Also, something really cool that the Red Cross is doing is that if you go on Amazon, they have an Amazon wish list of the specific items that they need. So if you do want to donate items directly to the cause, instead of shipping the items from wherever you are, you can go in and just make sure it sends to the Red Cross address and it will send them what they need. It's, you know, their wish list. Someone else that's been doing a lot of disaster relief down there that the Obama Foundation recommends is the Southern Baptist Disaster Relief Team. They are a Christian-based organization that, as far as I know, since missionaries places when that's the thing that they're doing but right now they're just doing disaster relief and their disaster relief teams are helping on both the immediate needs side so like hot showers hot meals that kind of thing and they're also going in and doing like chainsaw work and mud outs and helping people rebuild their homes so if you would like to donate to them they also have a link somewhere that is focusing specifically on the specific needs of children is the organization save the children their efforts are working to provide child specific you know relief supplies and child-friendly shelter spaces. They're at savethechildren.org or you can call 1-888-458-8575. Someone who is dealing on the food ends of things is the Houston Food Bank. They are currently working on providing immediate assistance to families with the highest level of need and they can be donated to monetarily at this link or they can also be donated to over the phone. They also accept volunteers if you are local. If, if you are interested in donating canned goods or something, again, I don't know the need for this specific situation right now depending when you watch this video but they have a pretty good guideline if you do want to do like a canned food drive or something about how to make sure that the things that are being donated are healthy and good for people. Another organization that is specifically for the victims of Hurricane Harvey and will be working the entire time so right now with immediate needs but also in the long term is the Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund. It was set up by Houston's mayor and the Greater Houston Community Foundation together and their focus is that they're their specific relief efforts will outlast as long as it needs to. And so they also have a website and they also have somewhere that you can text. You can text Harvey 2017 to 91999. But again, it'll only be paid once your phone bill is paid, depending how quickly you want your donation to go through. The Montrose LGBTQ Center is accepting monetary 
their donations on its website and they are focused on filling the gap between what other organizations will provide to everyone and the specific needs of the LGBTQ and HIV positive members of the community. The Organización Latina de Trans in Texas, they are focused on targeted work to meet the needs of the transgendered community. Here is their website. It is in Spanish. If your browser won't translate it, if you just go to the top right, there is a big yellow donate button and it will get to the transgendered community. Um, somewhere that is focused on specifically the medical needs of the victims is AmeriCares. Right now it's working on getting them clean water and specific medical aid. So, you know, emergency medicine supplies like that. And their website says that for every $10 you donate to them through their system, they can provide $200 of recovery relief. And then if you're specifically interested in the animals that are being displaced, Austin Pets Alive has a massive effort going on right now that is in lots of different cities and they're opening shelters and taking in thousands of displaced pets, displaced strays, lost animals that still need to find their owner, as opposed to pets that have, you know, owners have surrendered them and said, please take them, please keep them safe. And they're a no-kill shelter, so they're quickly and all the time being overrun. So I know for sure right now they aren't taking object donations, but monetary donations definitely help them. Animal care is very expensive, especially if they're, you know, injured or something has happened to them. Also, if you are in the area, and if you go on their website, which is right here, I know for sure they're looking for foster parents, and then they're also asking if you're thinking about adopting a dog or a cat or someone in the next, you know, few months, maybe to think about adopting from them. And so that kind of brings me into if you are local, if you want to donate your time or something that you have there, there are a lot of places that are taking local help. Austin Pets Alive is accepting foster parents and they take volunteers also. Like I said, the Houston Food Bank takes volunteers year round all the time, depending where they're helping. And then the Red Cross, if you can give 10 days at a time, they are looking for general volunteers and they're also very specifically looking for like medical professionals to come in and do targeted work. So if you are a medical professional and you can sacrifice 10 days, please go sign up. They would really appreciate your help. And then something else that's cool is that Airbnb is doing a space donation. So if you live in Austin, Dallas, or San Antonio, um, just kind of that lower Texas area, and you can offer a room to someone who's been displaced, people renting those rooms fees will be waived, people posting those rooms fees will be waived, and all of that will continue through September 25th. Now something I do want to mention when donating to these organizations, unfortunately, big disasters like this are absolutely fodder for criminals to come and take advantage of people who are trying to be helpful. Here's just some quick tips from the National Center for Disaster fraud in the Justice Department on how to avoid letting these online criminals exploit these national disasters for their own gain. First of all, just be smart, be suspicious, be wary of suspicious looking websites. If you get unsolicited calls or emails, a lot of crimes involve like sending a link in an email and if you open it and click on the link, they will put malware on your computer. So definitely know who the email is coming from before you start clicking on things. Similar links that tend to pop up on social media. Be wary of any organization that seems to have sprung up too suddenly. If they seem like a big national organization but they've only just shown up, that's something to be aware of. Go fund me is now a platform that people are using so that they can do things like this. But you can go on this website that GoFundMe has set up where they have one campaign of their own that's going straight to Harvey victims and then it's where they're hosting all of the vetted, verified campaigns that are happening on their website. GoFundMe is working with officials to make sure that they're preventing fraud through their platform. Also, if you have any questions about it, there are lots of places where you can check people out. The Better Business Bureau's Wise Giving Alliance has a whole charity section of the Better Business Bureau. Charity Navigator, Charity Watch, GuideStar, all of these will be linked in the thing below. The Justice Department also suggests avoiding cash donations where you can and either writing a check to the organization as a whole or playing with your credit cards so that it can be verified where it went. Never write a personal check to anyone. And then almost most importantly, if you think you're being targeted by a scammer, you can report it to a couple different agencies. The National Center for Disaster Fraud hotline is right here. You can also, in this case, report it to the Texas Attorney General's hotline, which is right here. And then at this link is the Better Business Bureau's scam tracker where they can keep their information up to date even on things that are just popping up. And it's, it's really important to be safe about these things. Uh, I'll post an article in the link below about the specifics of some things that happened during Hurricane Katrina, but in the Hurricane Katrina aftermath, like 4,000 websites popped up and stole people's money. So be really, really careful. 
that's also why I wanted to kind of put a list out there of places that are definitely verified and everyone knows that they're going to the right place because that sucks if your heart is in the right place and then it just not only doesn't help anybody but also steals from you that's not cool a lot of these are tax deductible definitely look for the little paragraph when you make your donation and like I said this is gonna go on for years so if out of nowhere in a couple months be like oh, I'm gonna donate to some Houston relief they'll need it if you have any questions comment them below and I'll answer them look in the description there's a ton of links and stuff that you can click on depending what you wanted to do and if you are helping the relief effort or donating something or if you've done something if you want to comment below I'd actually love to see what people have been doing because the outpouring of you know support for these people is incredible also very soon there's probably going to be very similar relief efforts happening in Florida and Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic and places uh, over here near where I live so I think this afternoon I'm gonna go sign up to be a Red Cross volunteer if they need help in Florida and a lot of the more sort of widespread organizations like the Southern Baptist Disaster Relief, Red Cross, AmeriCares will probably also be sending people down there. So you could wait a week and donate to that disaster relief. All right. Thanks for watching and thank you for giving whatever you can. It's really, really cool. All right. Bye, guys.